What's up y'all, Taylor Exchange here with another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sean. I'm a part-time reseller in North Texas. I'm here to show you how I make money selling things online. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my eBay office. I call it the eBay room actually, and I have a lot of things that I need to list. I'm gonna show you how I get all those things listed. It's all 17 of those shoes that I cleaned in my last video, so stay tuned. Let's get into it. Right here, we got the spare bedroom. To the left, you'll see this dress that my wife got for a wedding as a bridesmaid and the wedding never happened. She wanted me to sell the dress, but I really don't know how to list it or what to say about it. I got this main rack here for Christmas last year. I'd gotten into reselling my mom and dad bought me these bins and the racks. Um, they're excellent. The racks fit perfect with the bin, like it takes up the most space. You do have to take the lid off though. I got them labeled here, A through I guess G, I mean this one I don't have labeled at all because it's just like some hard goods and some ins and outs, but kind of just been piling shoes up there, the heavier ones that don't fit on the shoe rack as well. Then I have this black filing cabinet. This is just our, you know, home files, like important documents and whatnot. I got a couple VCRs, a receiver back there. I have a lot of empty space here and I used to shove this rack all the way to the back, but then I would have to pull it out each time. So... Uh, in the future, I'm not going to have this printer anymore that's massive. I do all my labels in the bypass here. And it's really convenient, but I'd rather get like a Rolo or a Dymo, something much smaller to not take up as much space. But I'll have to reconfigure this. I possibly want to get a second rack and some bins and just kind of increase my inventory that way. I've got my photograph station here, and I just got a piece of plywood with some white tiles I got out of, at a surplus store. So these were two bucks a piece on the tile and I got this piece of paper from work and I got this light here. It's got a couple settings. This is the brightest it gets and you'll see whenever I start going through the shoes. I like it because you can kind of like move it with your arm and get close if you want to. I have my ThinkPad laptop here, my um, Thunderbolt charging and docking station. I got this mic that I picked up recently. It's really helped with the, with the sound and I've got two monitors here. It's kind of just random storage. I got my tape and some toilet paper, which my family, you know, me and my wife, we use this as Kleenex. We're really cheap when it comes to that. I got my tape here, you know, my box cutter, the box resizer, some scissors and alcohol. And up here is really just wasted space that I need to figure out what to do with that stuff. And this shelf over here, I've got all my clear poly bags, which I've really been fighting with these bags. I think they packed them so tight when they came that you can barely open it like with your fingers and it's really causing a lot of problems. So this is kind of like my two scales. Now I have this one that I started out with when I started reselling. I would suggest getting the uh, digital readout that's separate from the actual scale because when you have a box with a VCR, it's very hard to see this scale. I picked this one up in a recent business buyout. This is a more professional scale. I got all my shipping supplies down here. I like it here because whenever I'm doing printing the shipping labels, I don't have to really move. I can just turn my, my chair around and I can get to these, uh, these shipping items. So I really like that, but I'd rather have maybe a tower, you know, possibly right where the copier is. I would have a tower here with my shipping supplies and then I'd have my printer on my desk and probably move my docking station to the other side of the computer. Down here, I have three shoe racks. These two shoe racks are the cheapest ones you can buy on Amazon. It's $13 shipped. I have two of them stacked, but it's missing some shelves because I had it overloaded and it actually collapsed in the one morning. And I came in and I had like all these shoes on the ground. I was double stacking like this all the way across and I've gotten away from that because it's just too much weight for these cheap racks. These racks are a little bit more. They're like $20 shipped and I still think it'd be the same problem. These tubes are a little thicker, but you'd eventually just run out of strength in those tubes to be able to hold more shoe racks. So in this closet right here, my wife recently uh, cleaned it out for me and I've filled it up with some more inventory. I have some bigger things here like this Scrabble, this five disc CD changer and some board games. Yeah, I've got a lot of Christmas sweaters here that I need to list in the next month or so.
As I go through the rest of these shoes, I'm going to give you guys a little insight into what I'm thinking as I'm doing these and the reason why I'm doing some of the things I'm doing. I start with the shoes that don't have any laces. These are like your slip-ons or your sandals. It's, it's the easiest ones for me to photograph. I don't have to mess with the shoe insert and a lot of times, you know, they're lighter than the ones that have laces. So it's pretty easy just to zip through them. I've thought about setting up like a tripod with my uh, tablet, but for now, this seems to be getting the job done. Uh, the iPad Mini 2, it takes the best photos. It's the best camera I have, actually. So I've been doing that for um, all my listings since I started eBay. But as you can see, I'm doing the same photos in the same order. And this kind of helps my brain and like my muscle memory for uh, what I'm doing. And it, it really does increase the time. I like to do all the ones of liked you know styles in order because I mean you can kind of see here it's fast forward but it really does go pretty quick as opposed to like you know taking photos of a boot and then like a slip on and then a sandal and then an athletic shoe so you know these are just some things that I've been picking up as I've been doing all these shoes and and I've done hundreds of them so it's definitely my least favorite task though is taking photos of shoes so we're about to get into like a running shoe here. Now, you know, I'm letting you guys know to put the best tag out there, and it's kind of hard to follow actually in fast forward mode. But, you know, these laces, uh, I cut it out, but it takes a while to like get them right. Um, if you guys do use inserts, it might be better to put the inserts in after you get the laces tied. And that's just because it's it can be like a pain to tie the laces. But if you don't tie the laces, the shoes look extremely unprofessional so I typically try to tie the laces in the way that like the runner might wear them you know like sometimes I double knot them if it's like a running shoe like these Asics and then you know depending on the length of the laces if the laces are really long I'll double knot them so it doesn't look like the laces are overpowering the photo these ones you know it kind of had a little bit of that effect but you know they're gonna be fine so sometimes you get lucky like these vans I actually didn't have to tie the, the laces somebody just like slipped them on and off so I just slipped in the inserts and I was able to you know get the pictures going and, and knock these out these are actually from my sister-in-law Erica uh, she's an avid Goodwill shopper for her own uh, her own style and she gave me like six pairs of shoes so I decided to throw these in there and get them listed you know sometimes it's not good to take free items you know the time you spend um, cleaning and processing it actually may not be worth like you know even ten dollars depending on how long you take to do it but I think I'm gonna make a little bit of money on these and if you notice my shoe inserts the one has a blue tape on it because it cracked I broke it some a little while ago and uh, I still use it because it still gets the job done it's really not that big a deal these shoes are actually kind of like beat up these are from her too but you know Nikes are pretty good sellers at like $25 so I think I'll be able to get that from these yeah shoes they've become like such a bread and butter item for me these shocks are pretty good they actually sold like two of the shoes in this video have already sold I think they sold like two days within listing them these I listed really low because it had a cigarette burn in it I listed them at $29.99 with free shipping and like I said they sold really fast this is actually an excellent colorway for shocks it's kind of a rare one, but um, you know, somebody got them for a good deal. They're, they would have been like $50 to $60 shoes if it wouldn't have been for that one hole. For the most part, as long as the shocks aren't like completely torn apart where the heel is, they're, they're good items to pick up. Here's another pair of slip-ons, the Skechers. I think I got like four in this sourcing trip and you know, this didn't make it in that first batch, but I had a whole tub full of shoes, which I didn't put all of them in the in the video here. I wanted to kind of keep it short, but um, yeah, you definitely want to do these first. They're just like the fastest ones to list. And this last pair coming up is these Merrells. You know, they're a little bigger. That's kind of why well, I waited till the end. They're at the bottom of the tub, but you know, I'm just going to go through the 12 photos here. There you have it, guys. I just finished up all the shoes. Check it out. I put it all on this table here, and then I can just sit at the computer. I can just get the listings pumped out. I mean, I feel really good right now. The dinner is cooked and ready. Steph did an excellent job. I'm really excited. 
I'm gonna be able to get these listed. I can pump listings out really quick, and I'm gonna show you guys in a video how I do that. Um, yeah, thanks for checking out the video. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me put the camera up a little higher. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.